What's up guys, welcome back to Weto's World. It's your boy Weto, and of course, I'm here to hit you guys with some knowledge. On this episode, we got my man Henry with HemFit Mills, and we're gonna discuss a whole bunch of healthy alternative lifestyles if you're not eating chicken. If you are eating chicken, I'd like to shout out to Canes for helping us out with this episode today. Chicken, 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 what combo you picking? So they're located here on Tell Shore, right next, or down the street from me at 1770 South Tell Shore. So I want to say thank you for sponsoring um, this episode. We're going to hit you guys with a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. All right. Welcome back guys, it's your boy Weto. So on this episode, like I said, we got my man Henry with HemFit Mills. So let's dive right into this. So my man Henry, introduce yourself and let him know what you represent. What's up guys, my name is Henry Montoya. Uh, I own HemFit Mills, like Weto was saying. Uh, I've been doing it for about two years now, and then I'm also a personal trainer here in town for about, I've been doing about three years now. Okay. But that's pretty much, yeah, what got me into the fitness, the fit meals was doing the personal training, and then it kind of just turned into like a snowball, and uh, just kept, started, rolling, kept rolling yeah. with it. Started off pretty small, you know, like, but it kind of just built up, but it's just something that I really like to do, so. Now, where, where are you doing these, um, were you a personal trainer? Is this out of home or are you at so, gyms here? So, uh, I actually started at, uh, it's like a barn gym. It's like where I actually uh, was a personal, or I had a personal trainer. Okay. Excuse me. And uh, I started there, um, like no certification or anything. It was just like, I was really into it and I was just hustling, you know, trying yeah, to yeah, make yeah. some money. Hell yeah. And uh, I was just, I mean, I'd give people good prices and. Like I would, that's how I started, you know, at, at the barn, and then uh, I got certified, and then I started working at Crunch Fitness. Shout out Crunch Fitness, Las so Cruces. Crunch, and uh, I've been there for about two to three years now. Almost. Oh, so I've been holding it down. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Crunch probably fun. the longest job I've ever had. Hey, hey, there yeah. you go, man. There you go. Hell yeah, yeah. So shout out to Crunch, they're awesome. Uh, and then I'm now doing group training at Rise. Fitness here in Las Cruces. Shout out Rise. Shout out to Rise. Hell yeah. Um, so brand new gym, uh, small group classes. It's a good, good, fast pace, fast pace uh, classes. So like, it's a lot of uh, more like cardio, cardio and weight training. So and it's that's like, like strength the, and conditioning kind of. Those are the hit training. It's like high, high intensity yeah, yeah, yeah. training. Yeah. So that's kind of what that is over there. Hell yeah, dude. So you said you've been doing that for a couple of years now. Now what originally brought you to Las Cruces? Um, so originally, actually, I'm from Phoenix, oh, Arizona. Shit. Arizona, yeah. AZ Arizona, in the building. Yeah, that's, where, that's where I'm originally from. Um, but my uh, mom met my stepdad, mm -hmm. and I kind of moved over here when I was six years old. Okay. So I've been here just ever since. Just holding it down, yeah, getting everybody in shape, getting yeah. good kinda food too. Really, yeah, I kind of didn't really have a uh, like choice, you know. Yeah, like, no. Come on, you're coming. I like, kind of just came along, and now we're here. Hell yeah, dude, that's what's up. Yeah. So. You talked about, you know, you're doing your personal fit stuff, so, and you have your different uh, group classes that you're doing, so is that how you're kind of like moving around with the COVID situation going on, or you? Yeah, so with COVID, it seems like the gyms, like, are, I mean, at least here in Las Cruces, I mean, we're, crunch feels almost like normal, you know, I mean, everyone's wearing masks, of right. course, but it seems as if, like, it's almost like normal. Like yeah. if it'd be like, cause the gym is so big. Right, it's a huge there, building, huge building. Just, Shout out to Crunch one more time. Yeah, there's just like, there's enough space for everyone, you know? That's so, so it's like almost like normal there. Hell yeah, you and gotta then, adapt for sure. Yeah, and then just wearing the mask, cleaning the equipment and stuff like that. Obviously. And Crunch has always, they've always been good about having, you know, the paper towels on there and wiping down, sanitizing yeah. stuff. So that's Yeah, we cool. always got like the cleaners and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. Badass. Shout out to the bread and butter, the people that clean them. Your job is important. Mm -hmm. So that's what's up. So. As you're doing, you know, your fitness program and you're helping other people stay fit as well, um, is there like certifications that go into that type of stuff? Oh uh, yeah, so I have uh, my uh, NASM certification, so that's the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Ooh, so that's it's, a mouthful, huh? It's a, yeah, I mean, it's probably one of the better certifications that you can get for personal training. Okay. Um, and I've had that now going about two years. So, um... It took me a while to get it, like, but but it was just because I was just kind of slacking on it, like, kind of procrastinating it. I mm -hmm. literally finished it like the day that I was supposed to, you know, like right. they give you a deadline and I got it extended and I finished it by that deadline. So hey, either way, man, you, you got it done. It's got done, and got that's it all done, that matters. Yeah. So we certified. So if you guys are looking to get in shape. 
hit my man up. We'll drop all the Instagram tags and everything in the comments below or in the tags and everything so you guys can get a hold of him that way. Um, so with that, now you guys, you came from Arizona and then you started, you know, producing, you know, the hit interval trainings and stuff like that and you're yeah. doing stuff with Crunch. Now, are you, are you family oriented with any kind of thing going on? You guys have a family business as well going on here? Yeah, so, um, I, I grew up like in the restaurant business. Okay. Um, oh, so this, my yeah, dad, home, uh, my family, my dad and my uncle, they actually own a Chachi's Mexican restaurant. Oh shit! Yeah. Shout yeah. out Chachi's. Shout out Chachi's. Yeah. Yeah. Chachi's is the it's the spot. Yes, it is. So right now we just opened up the Express, which yeah. is like uh, drive-through um, delivery, takeout, catering now. And that's on Locust, right? That's right on Locust. Yeah, where the old Burger Time used to be. Oh okay. Yeah. So that one actually open just in time for like when COVID hit. Man. So, cause uh, we're not open at the right, the first location. Mm -hmm. So everything's going through that one. And then we have the location in Doniana that's just doing giggles. Oh, giggles. that's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that they're going on. Damn, yeah. so you guys are busy then. Yeah, pretty busy, honestly. Um, really lucky that this this one opened just in time. Yeah, honestly. most definitely, most pretty definitely. Pretty wild, yeah, how that This happened. COVID thing, man, it's, it's turned everything upside down. Even yeah. for me here in the retail world, it's, you know, all about you know, you got to dig into your customer influencing and tap, you know, get on social media more, you know, do podcasts, you know, web episodes yeah. and stuff. It's, it's crazy how, you know, I had my own little marketing scheme and then COVID hit, which I'm sure for you guys, and you got to get kind yeah. of scrambled. Right, yeah. But also at the same time, it's, I've learned that it's kind of a blessing in disguise. Definitely makes so. you kind of um, dig a little deeper into Most like definitely. your, your uh, how would I say it? Uh, like you have to find it, you have to find it, you have to bring them in. You Most know, like you, you have to kind of turn it to your advantage in a way. Yeah, and, and it's that's kind of what a lot I did. Of time, okay, so. Kind of what I did with the meals, actually. Okay. Yeah, so like um, I used it I kind of like as a way for the, my clients to like not have to go to the grocery store. Right. You know, the grocery stores were pretty bad for a while. Right. Um, like so, I just would have them order online. They just go pick up, and that's it. Like no contact, even with me. Really, they just go to the fridges, pick it up, and they're ready to go. Oh yeah, that's super convenient. So yeah. man, if you guys are looking to get you some healthy, um, fit food, uh, Him Fitness, and you guys, you have a location. And where are your locations? So um, I don't have a physical like storefront location. Okay. Um, all the orders are online. So uh, basically, you just order online, and then you pick up either at Crunch Fitness, which I have, I have like a single door fridge there. Nice. And then I just opened up another fridge at Nature Shop as Hell well. Hell yeah! Oh my man, it's moving. Yeah. yeah. So I got two different locations. Whatever is more convenient for you. Um, and those are on total up. opposite ends. One's over there by like kind of towards Sonoma. Yeah, right, right there, kind of by. Uh, it's like on Loman. It's on Loman, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on Loman. Area right there by the Dunkin' Donuts. I was about to say, I'm sad to say I know that it's by the Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> but yeah. Hey, Dunkin' Donuts, honestly, shout out to Dunkin' yeah, Donuts. Yeah, they've been holding it down. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that energy cold brew gets me through it. Well, I like them pink sprinkled donuts, <laughs> boy, every <laughs> yeah. time. Tell the you best. what, and then you got one at Crunch too, right? Yeah, and then I got the one at Crunch, yeah. Hell yeah. So the, the one at Crunch is just, uh, like, I have a manual lock on there, so, like, anyone who orders from me, they just get the passcode. Okay, that's cool, yeah, smart. And they their meals, and that's it. That's labeled, it? labeled with their names, they just go pick Right. Yeah, I can set Every some Monday, just come pick it yeah. up. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's what's up. Hell yeah, man. So it sounds like you've all obviously figured out a way to kind of move around the COVID situation mm -hmm. in a correct way right. and in a clean manner, which is important because in you know, in doing this hustles and stuff like that on the side, one, you gotta protect yourself as a business right. and now two, with everything going on, you have to protect the customer. Exactly. You know? yeah. So that's that's a big deal and that's super cool that you take the initiative to make sure it's clean. Mm -hmm. Um so with that guys we're going to hit you guys with a quick commercial break. Um, we're going to just chow down a little bit and then we'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. It's your boy Weddle and I'm here with my man Henry with Hemp Fit Mills. So let's get right back to the meals. So my man, with the Hemp Fit Mills, now what got you, oh, so you, you talked about, you know, you've been in the restaurant business with your family. Um, so how are you catering towards your customers do you have like specific meal plans um, options stuff like that or you want yeah. to talk about that a little bit yeah for sure so um, the meals I have different different like I have the regular meals are basically just uh, they're nutritionally balanced meals so with those meals you can either lose weight or you can gain weight just depend or you can maintain yeah. because everyone's a little bit different and 
Um, some people require more meals, Definitely. and some people require less meals, or some people just you know just want to eat right. Just want to eat right and ma maintain a healthier lifestyle. Definitely. And then I do have like low carb options as well. Uh, so those are the ones that are kind of more tailored to losing weight. Yeah. So it's in a more uh, probably be more of an aggressive approach, I guess, because yeah. it's like pretty low in carbs, or it could even be like uh, uh, categorized in, like to a keto. Um, it's just not as high in fats. Yeah, so, man. So you're covering all ranges of the spectrum. Yeah, definitely. That's dope, man. Hell yeah. Congrats on that. Now, when you have all these different types of meals, different clients, are you? how do you price point this kind of stuff? Do you have... So I have pretty much like set prices. Um, the more that you buy, the cheaper that it gets. Obviously. So um, it starts at $8 a plate. So $5 or for five meals, it's uh, 40 bucks. Write this down. Write it down. Hell yeah. <laughs> 10 meals is 80 bucks. Um, and then it jumps to 20 meals and you save a uh, dollar off each meal. So okay. it's $7 a meal. And then that's 140. So it's up front. But what I do is um, say if you do like 20, 30, or 40 meals, um, you pay up front, but you're prepaid for those amount of weeks. So oh, like nice. you get new meals each week. Yeah, so I try to get people on the like the full plan, the full month plans. Right. It's the cheapest route and um, it gets people the results, honestly. Because that's the whole reason why I really got into it, you know, is oh, because the results. the results. Yeah, right. if you're not giving people results, then what's the point, you know, then why, exactly. you know? So that's, that's what I try to do is get everyone on that program. But I mean, whatever works for them, you know, even if, I do, I can work like with, I can do small stuff. Like if they need like a little bit more protein, like I can do that, but it's gonna be like at an extra charge and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, or if they just wanna sub out like, it's like set meals for the week, but if it's just like minor changes, like the vegetables or something, like I, yeah. I, if I'm already making it, I can switch it. Just flip them out, yeah, flip spare them out. meals to something yeah, like broccoli. Right. Yeah, something exactly, else. yeah, just like that. But um, I try to get everyone on the 40 meals. Um, it's like six twenty-five a meal. That's not bad. Hell yeah, yeah six twenty-five for forty meals. For forty meals, Shit. yeah. So yeah. that comes out to like about two fifty before tax. That's not bad. Two fifty, and then you're prepaid for the month. I was gonna say you get a whole month of for a food? whole month of Jesus. food. Well, yeah. So if you do Monday through Friday, that'd be two meals a day. Okay. Yeah. So I've been thinking about adding in like a like another meal plan yeah. with that would do three meals a day. So that'd be uh, three. That'd be like. 15, 30, 60 meals. Oof. 60 meals a week, that'd be kind of blunt, That because I do breakfast now also. Oh, the scrambled egg bowl, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Ooh, that shit looks so yeah. good. Yeah, so next week I got uh, some, it's out uh, there, buckwheat pancakes Ooh. with uh, turkey bacon and eggs and uh, sugar free syrup. Oh, I'm bite into this chicken, listen to that. Yeah. Oh, man. Hell yeah. yeah. So um, if I could do that, I'll probably even just give it an even better discount on that. You know, Hell yeah, dude, like that's 60, so dope. 60, 60, 60 60 meals. Now are you, you cook all these meals by yourself? Do you have like a team? So um, I'm trying to build a team actually. It's okay. kind of getting to that point where it's like, I have, I had one, one lady, you know, Margarita. Miss Margaret! Shout out, shout out hey, Margarita. Hey, what's up with that's... your help? I know y'all watching this one. <laughs> yeah. We gotta get y'all on here too, for yeah, real. That's, that's my main lady. She uh, has been, she's been with me for over a year now. And Dude, have you got any of her, uh, this Street sweet. sweets? Yeah, oh, shout out to Man, that's sweets. so good, man. It'll tear your teeth up, but it is so worth <laughs> it. Yeah. She's a bomb ass cook. Yeah, man. definitely. Miss yeah. Margaret. So, I mean, yeah, she's been like a really big help for me. So, yeah. I mean, without her, I probably wouldn't be here, you know, honestly. Oh, yeah, like, not, yeah. not as far, you know, but it's getting to that point where I have to start bringing in more people now. Okay. So, like, I have her, and then I've been having just like a few of my friends come in to help me and stuff. Nice. But, um, I'm looking for help, so if you're if you're looking, if you're into, I need a dishwasher. I need someone who can cook on the grill yeah. and then plating. Nice. So I yeah. just need probably a team of like three people working at all like the whole time, you know. Yeah. But yeah, typically like that Sunday, like tomorrow, if if I'm prepared and stuff, I'll finish in about 12 hours. What? So that that's a whole day adventure. It's a, it's a full day. Of Damn yeah. So hey, if y'all watching this, I know y'all are. Hit my man's up. Let's get y'all employed too. We're trying to help everyone not only eat right, get paid, yeah. look good, stay fit, man. We're covering the spectrum. Now, on the show, man, it's tradition that we pop a bottle to the success of what you got going on. So, sounds like you've been kicking ass, and this is, man, this is definitely owed to you, man. So, I just want to say cheers to him fit, Mr. Henry, my man. Congratulations on the success. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. So, there it goes, man. Oh, shit. 
So sometimes they pop off and sometimes they don't. But it looks like the success, my man, is all yours. So cheers to you, brother. Let me get you a cup here. Damn, that one was ready to pop. That one was ready. <laughs> Hell yeah. So now with everything going on, man, are you are you posting more on social media? Are you like are you doing flyers? Like how are you connecting with your customers? Um, yeah, just posting through social media. I'll run like uh, Facebook ads every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, that one I wasn't expecting that. Right. Actually, they would go crazy. Hell yeah, you go for the man. Cheers. Sure. But yeah, just just posting more on uh, Facebook. I'm not very good at Facebook. Cheers to cheers. you, brother, man. Congratulations, man. Nothing but success for you, brother. Cheers. Likewise. Hell yeah, that's so dope. So, you got social media once more. Yeah, I'll park a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, all the damn bubbles. We know it all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. There you go, man. So, like you, you were talking about, you're doing ads and stuff like that? Yeah, it's just like running Facebook ads, kind of learning how that works and stuff. It works pretty good, honestly. If you can hit your target, like uh, the return on it, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Honestly. Yeah, you definitely got to invest in yourself, especially with, you know, marketing and stuff like mm -hmm. that, where... You know, luckily for us, you know, the digital age is pretty much, yeah. it's all in our hands. So right. there's no reason that if you're, if, when you're sitting at home watching this stuff on the same iPad, iPhone, whatever, Android, whatever you got, you can do literally everything we're doing the same as you. Like let your hustle flow and see what you can do as well. So right. you know, I encourage anybody watching this, step up. Let's see what you got. Now, a big part of this on here as well is um, popping the crazy champagne bottles and doing all that mess. A big question I always ask is, what does do what I want represent to you, or how is your hustle in your own fashion? Like, what would you say that means to you? Uh, I would say that uh, do what I want means basically what it basically what it what it's saying. You know, you do what you want. Um, that's kind of the mentality that I've always had. Um, it's gotten me into trouble, and it's gotten me. You gotta be you careful know. with it. It's a slippery <laughs> it's slope, for definitely. Sure. But um, I think as long as you have. Uh, proper uh, as long as you carry yourself in the right way you're not hurting anyone you're just trying to help yourself and, right you know help other people around you um, as long as you're not hurting anyone in the process I think that it's fine you yeah. know but do what I want basically means what it is you know okay. but right. it can go it can go either way but I think that's a big 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 factor in that you know I, I've got it on my neck for a cutthroat kind of game that I do in my world of do what I want, like I'll die for my stuff. But I also have an initial on my pinky as an always a reminder to have manners and do yeah. it in a positive light, you know? Right, yeah. You gotta, if you can dig into your hustle and do what you want and do what I want, it's whatever, same way. But the whole thing is just push yourself, see what you can do, you know, don't take no for an answer, don't take shit from nobody trying to do your own thing. So, you know, if you're a hustler, I encourage you, like I said, let's see what you got. Um, if you are an entrepreneur, I'd like to get you on the show too. Um, Miss Margaret, you're going to be up next, don't you worry. Legit <laughs> alpha, little Larry, big Larry, what's good? Let's get you on here too. Um, so my man, you want to let them know what you got coming up? Do you have any kind of uh, competitions? Are you dropping any new meals? Like what you got, man? Let them know. Right now, I'm just, I mean, I'm pretty busy right now. Honestly, mm -hmm. like I just recently, because I just recently started training with Rise. Ooh, yeah. So with the groups and then the training, with the personal training, I'm basically working like every day now, like oh, yeah. no days off. Um, granted, it's not like I'm working eight, to ten, like 12 hour days, like every day, but like. Not like a Sunday cook all day. Yes, but I mean, I think every day, every Sunday I gotta do that. Yeah. You know? so it's like a never ending. Like, if you want to be an entrepreneur, it's not going to be easy. You got to hustle 80 like, hours a week for at least 10 years before, right. you, and then you're good. But yeah, I mean, better I'm, that than I'm an entrepreneur now, you know, and I'm still out here working for other people, trying to do more, you know? Definitely. Because it, the, the weekend is, it's only the weekend that I do, though. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. I, I mean, if I wasn't to do anything during the week, it just, I'd have too much time on my hands, you know? Right, right. Yeah, Definitely so. got to keep it moving for sure. Yeah. Well, my man, hell yeah, I'm glad. Thank you for coming on here. I want to cheers to your success one more cheers. time, brother. Um, if you got Instagram, um, your online shop, you want to go ahead and let them know where they can order and yeah, how to hit you up, man. Uh, you can uh, follow me on uh, my business page at HimFitnessLC. And then uh, on there, it's got the link. If you just click the link, you'll be able to order meals on there. So the meals, 
they change weekly, so you just gotta kind of stay updated, like on the on my Instagram page or Facebook page. Follow my man. Tell follow him. me if you guys want to get the meals. Yeah. And then just order online. I'll reach out to you to see what kind of meal, which meals you want for the week. Okay. And then I'll just figure out what you want to pick up, and that's pretty much it. Hell yeah, that's what's yeah. up, man. And then you get results. <laughs> yeah, there it is, right? You can't that's you it. can't get results. You don't put in the work. Yeah. So with that, you know, I'd like to say two thanks again, my man, for coming to see me here at the industry of do what I want. Um. Let you guys know as well, here at the industry, I've also got a 30% discount code going on all month of August. Um, you can shop here at the shop with that 1770 South Tail Shore. Come see me. I'll hook you up the entire store. That's shirts, hoodies, uh, leggings for ladies. We got hats, everything, you name it. I got you covered. And if you shop online, it's dwiw.shop. Uh, use the discount code back to school and you'll get set up for that. Also, a heads up, we're doing a canned food drives or that's for Casa de Pedegrinos. We're going to go ahead and donate to them at the end of the month. So we've been collecting, we've got a whole bunch of boxes for that. And last but not least, I have a trash uh, pickup. We're doing a community cleanup. That's going to be August 28th at 7 a.m. Meet here um, to get the location that we're going to go to and go pick up some trash and clean up Las Cruces. So nice. that's a wrap here on Weddow's World. Um, thank you, Henry, for coming to see me, my thank man. You. I appreciate Hi, it. Lady. So we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.